Ralston. Ball over the top, giving Dyson Maeda something to, to run on to. And that's a free kick in a dangerous position. And the first yellow card of the afternoon. And it just shows you what a decent delivery can do. That was a wonderful ball from Anthony Ralston. He's about to show us his decision. And it's going to be a red card. It's going to be a red card for Cochran. Hearts are going to be down to ten men right at the end of the first half. Game just be coming to get a little bit scrappy. Oh, a chance here for Celtic, a real chance for Kyogo. And he's managed to sneak the ball in at the near post. Kyogo has his 30th goal of the season, his 50th goal in the hoops. And could that be the goal that seals the title for Celtic? Moy, great ball across, and it's a second goal for Celtic. And that goal from O has sealed the title. 80 minutes gone at Tyne Castle. A round of applause from Ange Postacoglu. We can pretty much see it now. Back-to-back -back titles for Celtic. Celtic are the champions. Back-to-back -back titles for Ange Postecoglou. Kyogo, the hero with his 30th goal of the season. When his goal went in in the second half, Celtic relaxed and all oh, put the icing on the cake. It is difficult to win a championship. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It takes special levels of mentality and work rate and consistency to get over the line in the way Celtic have done. And now the party can begin. 11 titles from the last 12, 53 in our history. The fourth domestic trophy for Ange Postecoglou. As Tom Boyd says, these are good times to be a Celtic supporter. And these Celtic players will enjoy this moment. You don't get much time to enjoy success in football because there's generally always another important game around the corner. So when the time comes and they do get the chance to relax and let their hair down, back to back. That's the line. <laughs> 